this is Bethany and today I'm gonna to be filming a quick chatty get ready with me talking about like personal things life my thoughts about stuff that's really vague I know but I'm like a little bit hyper right now and I just want to sit down and film a few things to tell you first though um, I am currently competing in the Nick's face awards and right now we are in the third and final round left to public vote before the top six are chosen flown to LA to compete live and make their own masterpiece with like a production crew and that person gets the chance of being crowned beauty blogger of the year and you could win up to $50,000. It's just craziness. But regardless, I would love that opportunity to get flown to LA to have that experience, that learning experience, that network experience to help grow my channel and grow myself as an artist. So if you want to check out my video for that, the theme this round was cyberpunk, so it's definitely very different from a lot of things I put up on my channel. But if you would please go check it out, and if you think from my efforts that I'm worthy of competing with the top six, then please go vote for me up to three times a day until July 21st. I will have everything and the video linked for you below if you want to check that out. And honestly, I really need your all's help because I am like the third smallest total following in the whole competition. Um, so getting as far as I have already feels like a really great accomplishment that I'm super thankful for. Um, but I really want to go farther if I can. So if you all would please check that out, maybe even go give the video a like to help it out because YouTube's algorithms are dumb. But yeah, if you guys would check that out and if you like it, maybe vote for me, please. That would be awesome. Anyways, a few other new things in my life. I bought this fabric. It's actually mermaid fabric, so you can kind of like doodle with it and mess it up. I'm just gonna buy like more mermaid fabric because this stuff is so fun. I sat here with a mermaid pillow I bought last night just kind of diddling with it for like 10 minutes straight and drawing penises. <laughs> just kidding. I was, well, was kind of trying to. It's a little hard to get a curved structure on them. But anyways, I was just drawing things. But yeah, I was just wanting to let you all know mermaid fabric is really cool and I was just literally mesmerized by it. I want it in all the colors. So. But for now, let's go ahead and jump into me putting my makeup on. I'm not going to be too talkative about what I'm doing because I'm just going to do it. And uh, there we go, I'll tell you what I'm using and then you, you watch me. So to begin, I'm going to be using Smashbox's Photo Priming Water. This just adds a like, light touch of moisture. Helps adhere stuff to my face. I don't know, it's pleasant, I like it. And then for primer, I'm going to be using more Smashbox again. This is their Photo Finish Foundation Primer in Light. It's super lightweight, doesn't have like a heavy silicone, plasticky feel. And I like it, I just think it absorbs to the skin and helps my nose look less flaky and a little bit more refined. So, I like using this one. Alright, next for foundation, I'm going to be using NYX's Total Control Foundation Drops. And now I'm actually going to start doing the chit-chatting in this chatty video. So today I'm getting ready because it is mine and Ty's. Oh my god, I just dropped that on my shirt, which is black. Fabulous. So today I'm getting ready and it's mine and Ty's six year anniversary. Man, I'm just like going about this, aren't I? So we've been engaged for about one year and we've been together for six. I can't believe we've been together that long. That is craziness. I. I mean, in a good way, but <laughs> um, I just don't know many people who've been with anyone <laughs> that long and we don't hate each other. <laughs> just kidding. But um, so we're trying to figure out what we want for dinner. He chowed down on a chicken. So now we're having to wait because he already ate and he's like, what if we go to like a Brazilian barbecue where you can all you can eat, but I want to take the best advantage of it. So I want to go there hungry and I'm like, I want to eat now, but he ate a chicken. So now we're having to wait and I'm putting on makeup and I'm starving. I'm so starving and I keep burping like a lot. But anyways, it's our six year anniversary. And speaking of that, a lot of you have asked me about like wedding planning and things like that. And I haven't talked about it at all on my channel actually, but initially Ty and I were going to get married in September. That was what I had plans for and that's what I started saving for before there were issues and hiccups in the road. But unfortunately the plan of getting married in September sort of went down the toilet a little bit. Um, there was an area I was going to get married at, but there was just too much uncertainty around what was going on. And then Ty had job issues so all the savings I had for my wedding started being depleted. 
But anyways, so now we're looking at getting married sometime next year. I don't really have a set date or anything, but I know that when I do get married, I kind of want like an outdoor whimsical type wedding, and I wouldn't be opposed to like a barn wedding either. I just know that whenever I've envisioned my wedding, I envision like the sun's kind of going down, um, and there's fairy lights, and there's trees, and maybe a tent, like an outdoor tent. So I want kind of an outdoor, indoor, outdoor wedding. And you can get those, you can put those together kind of reasonably in a way, price-wise, if you finagle things. Finagle's a real word. In the, <laughs> in the correct way, I think. But also if you kind of know people that can help you out. So we'll see what happens. That's what I'm going to aim for. No promises though. But once I'm actually planning more on the wedding and have like things to show you all, then I will. And um, I'm always, I've just been bummed that you all have been asking about it and I don't have anything cool to tell you, unfortunately. So because putting on foundation and making it match my neck kind of bleeds into my lips and makes me look uh, dead, I'm just going to put on a little bit of lip color. This is like the Tatcha Camilla Oil Red Lip Balm. It's going to give me a little life in my face, which I need right now. Still not there. Still not. And then for an eyeshadow primer, lately I like using the Tarte Shape Tape. I am using up Fair Neutral, but I just recently bought Fair as well too. I lost my Tarte Shape Tape and then I found it again and it was in a really obvious place. I swear I am like a squirrel. I hide things, well I don't really hide things, but I put them away and then I can't find them. And then my eyes have this tendency to overlook things entirely. It's just... Ridiculous. I can walk around six times looking for the same thing I set down and my eye doesn't see it because if I start to panic Like it just completely glosses over everything. It's so silly, but um, I guess I don't talk to you guys very much about it, but I, I do have pretty severe anxiety Well, I, I've coped with it pretty well recently in the last year or two, but I have, I have anxiety and sometimes it affects me really heavily if I don't get it under control like it's almost like my brain capacity goes down to a fraction of what it's normally capable of and I don't see things. Um, for instance, while I was filming my Face Awards video, um, on the robot look, I worked so hard on it. So freaking hard. And this is the one with like the metal jaw. And I filmed a completely different one than what you all see that I put up for my Face Awards video. I filmed from 8 o'clock at night until 10 something in the morning. And I was going ahead and doing it even though my wig had not arrived. And I had these all white contact lenses I put in that were kind of creepy. But it was, it was a very extensive look and it was actually more detailed than the one I put up for my Face Awards video. So I get to the end of it, none of my wigs that co co color coordinate with this look will go on to my head. They just won't fit because my hair is now officially this long and thick as hell. I have like horse hair. Horse hair. So my blue wig that I used in the first round wouldn't work, which it would have coordinated. And any other wig I had wasn't working. Um, and then suddenly my wig arrives because the mailman arrives at like 10 something in the morning. So I take out my contacts, which were making me kind of blind to put on the wig. Then I come back in here to film and it looks so much better with the wig. I'm ready to go because slicking my hair back and trying to paint it black wouldn't work since I have really thick hair. Anyways, I get back in here with the wig. It looks so good. I'm like, okay, let me go get the contacts and put them on. I ran back and forth between both of our bathrooms, I would say at least 20 times, and I could not, for the life of me, find those contact lenses, which were very essential to the style of robot that I made and I just started panicking and I when I panic I try not to cry especially with all this makeup on my face because all the paint will melt off and I just I went back and forth quickly I stood there for a moment I stared at everything where are they I know I set them down in this bathroom I can't be crazy but I went to the other bathroom I went back and forth and checked probably 20 times and Finally, I could not hold back my tears anymore because I was having a panic attack. The contact lenses were not there no matter how many times I looked. So unfortunately, I had a panic attack and cried off the look before I could film. It's actually making me upset to think about because I worked so hard on it. Here's actually a picture up here of what it looked like. I blacked out my hair in the picture because it just didn't look right. I had all this red hair that didn't coordinate with like a teal sci-fi robot. Um, but anyways, so there was a lot more detail in that robot and I ruined the whole look and cried it off and had like a meltdown. And then come to find out, the contact lenses were damn near right in front of me. 
the whole time and I couldn't see them because I was panicking. They were right freaking there. And I just, I kept seeing that case and thinking, oh, that's my friend's case. Oh, that's my friend's case because she lives with us. And I just can't stand my anxiety sometimes because it cuts me down to a fraction of the efficiency that I can be, the person I can be, the artist I can be. Um, and it's something I, I feel like I've done a better job at coping with in recent years, but just I had a total meltdown that day. I cried all of it off and before I could even film it, which was horrible. I kept trying to stop myself from crying, but I couldn't. Um, and it just didn't work. But anyways, let's move on to makeup because that's what you all are here for, I think. Uh, I'm going to use the Makeup Geek new In The Nude palette that they did send me. Um, I've tried this twice on my eyes so far and I've liked it, though it's not like a super eccentric palette. It's all just kind of like natural nudes if you're into that sort of thing. But generally, if you're new to Makeup Geek, I would recommend moving over with this palette if you're wanting to start with nudes because there's some good ones in here. So I'm going to get started on the eyes right now and maybe stop talking about anxiety. I don't know. I I hate talking about it sometimes on social media, um, on like video because I feel like people just go, oh, you're weak and they judge you for it. I know that's silly, but maybe I just shouldn't care about people judging me. A lot of people who don't have anxiety don't quite understand it. They can't really grasp the idea that you just sort of lose control of your emotions. People who are better at that stuff. But yeah, that's why I don't like talking about anxiety on the internet because it's just kind of like opening up a wound in your chest and expecting the internet not to poke it. It's a very sensitive thing. It's a very personal thing. Um, and it's very scary to me to talk about. Sometimes I want to talk about it because I feel like it could be helpful to people but it's just really hard. Go in a little deeper on this eyeshadow. I was gonna talk to you all about how crazy the Instagram clickbait has gotten. The clickbait is just insane. So my friend Jackie O sent me like a parody video the other day on Instagram. This girl was parodying all the clickbait that there is. There's just so much on there because Instagram videos have become more of a thing. And unfortunately now everyone's thumbnails look completely not like what's going on in the videos. They'll be like contouring with a pointy shoe or a knife or a banana for some reason. Um, and it's just really confusing. I'm really scared. But yeah, the clickbait is just getting out of control. I mean, it's, but it's, wor the thing that about it is that it works. It works for them. If these people make these clickbaity thumbnails, then it helps them get a following. And I'd rather just not obtain a following that way. Even if I never have a big following, I'd just rather have people who were there for my artistry and not for weird cheap amusement. And you can tell which ones are like premeditated clickbait because their thumbnail will be something that didn't even occur in the video tutorial of whatever makeup they're putting on. Though you know that they like sat there and in the middle of their makeup tutorial, they're like, oh, wait a second, I'm gonna have to make a really catchy thumbnail. And then they'll just have their product and be like, poking their eye, jamming it down their throat, and they'll even like Photoshop it where their mouth is like overblown. It's just craziness. So it's kind of hilarious in a way, and part of me is like, yeah, I get that you really want your stuff to stand out, but I'd rather just not stand out in that way. And maybe I'm being a bit judgmental. I don't know. What do you all think? And what is the most ridiculous clickbait thumbnail you have seen on Instagram? It's just weird to me that people would want to do that, but I suppose they do because it works. I'm going to be taking this shade Grandstand and putting it on the lid. And again, I'm not doing like a crazy blown out look today. Um, I do want a nice shimmery taupey lid with this though. This is like a warm taupe. That's weird. I'm going to take a bit of this pinky champagne in the spotlight and put that on my inner tear duct. And it looks beautiful. You know what? I completely forgot to powder my face. I could like feel the, just a touch of tackiness to my face. So definitely don't want that. So next I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows. You all have already seen this, so I won't really show it to you. I'm using the NYX 3-in-1 brow pencil, but I'm only using the pencil side. It's in blonde. Everything else in this is a bit too dark for me to use. All right, now that the brows are done, I'm going to hop back to the eyes and I'm going to use the NYX Duochrome Illuminator in Snow Rose. It's really pretty. It's got this little pinky shift in it. And I have smothered this everywhere lately. It is my favorite of all their duochrome illuminators. Lavender Steel is like a close second, but anyways. And then while I put on blush, I was going to ask you all because I want your opinions on some things moving forward with my channel. Because ideally, I'd like to do like two 
foundation reviews a month or two pale product reviews a month just because I have such a high ratio of pale people on my channel that need to know whether stuff works. And then I'd also like to do one to two creative avant-garde videos a month. So it's just kind of hard to find a balance. I'd also like to do monthly favorites every single month as well too. I just haven't been able to recently because I've been in the middle of the face awards. So it's been craziness. But anyways, if I could only do four to six videos a month, at least for now, because I do work full time, um, if I could only do that many, what are you most interested in seeing in terms of pale product reviews? Do you want to see foundations? Do you want to see palettes? Things like that. And in terms of like, do you want to see creative videos? What type of creative videos do you want to see? Do you want to see character creations? Do you want to see stuff that comes directly from my mind? Yeah, I'd really just like to see what you all want moving forward and how to break it up because I really need to honker down and hone in on the direction of my channel. And hopefully you all can help me out with that. All right, so I'm gonna finish up in the eyes here so I can get over to lips. First, I'm gonna line the eyes. I'm using NYX's Epic Ink Liner. I was supposed to not be talking about the makeup as much, but I am for some reason. And then for mascara today, I'm trying this new Maybelline Turbo Express. So I usually use the classic volume express that has this like same container, but it's blue. But this looked like it'll do that, but more. It's probably a lie. But it even has the same spoolie, which is my favorite type, the little, you know, old school spoolie. This almost looks exactly the same, except for it has like a slightly lacquery finish, if that makes sense. But I think I dig this. I'll keep buying it if they get rid of the old one. So I'm gonna go in a little deeper with these darkest shades here. Just kind of emphasize this area. This picks up. I picked up way too much. It's like, wow, intense. Let me fix what I've done. Yep, gotta fix it. I'm gonna take a bit of this lighter shade on the brow bone. Okay, for false lashes, I'm popping in the Kiss Ones in Ritzy. I believe they're Kiss Ones. I just know they're called Ritzy. But anywho, let's apply these bad boys. These are like running away from me. I'm gonna amp up my highlight. I mean, because we're going out on a date. I wanna look glowy and gorgeous. And I still haven't figured out what I wanna eat. I'm really craving Brazilian barbecue or American cuisine. Um, I love how Brazilian barbecues have those like weird little soggy bananas. <laughs> no one's gonna know what I mean if they don't eat there, but they have these like weird soggy bananas that are like delicious. And they're meant to like cleanse your palate in between each thing you eat. And I just think those are really good. And the little, the little breads that they have that are, those are kind of weird and mushy too. I don't know. I just, I kind of want Brazilian barbecue though. It's kind of expensive. Like it's really expensive. It's like $50 a person, which is like crazy. But anyways, that's what I'm feeling and that's what I want. For lips, I'm gonna use the Makeup Geek Cream Stain in Foxtrot. I know I was gonna show you all a look with green lips, which I will show you once I refilm it because I lost part of the footage. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go in with this shade because it's nice and flirty and it's my anniversary. I do what I wanted to. So here is with Foxtrot on. It's like a bit of a coral nude, I think, if I'm describing it correctly, like a coral peach nude. I have this NYX Aqualux liner in the shade Glam Nude, and I really love their Aqualux liners. They're good for adding like dotting that looks like glitter. So I'm gonna do that to the inner tear duct. I'm also gonna do this a little bit with the 24 karat one. Then lastly, I'm going to take the Lip Art of the Day liner in Sunlit and add a little bit of details onto my lip. Just little bitty dots down it. Kind of matches this. All 
All right, so that is my finished makeup look for today. And now I can finally go eat something with Ty and ruin all of what I did to my lips. But it wasn't too intensive, so it wasn't bad. Um, but yeah, so I'm so excited and so hungry to eat something. For dinner. I'm like one of those people that anytime something slightly good even happens, I want you to take me out to eat, feed me, or I'll take you out to eat, whatever. I just want to celebrate everything with food. It's how I am. I'm like, something really minor as an accomplishment happened, feed me. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll remind you again, if you want to see me make it to the top six of the face awards, please go follow the link in my bio to the video and vote for me if you want to see me there and go watch it. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Give this a thumbs up if you like it. Anything helps because I'm pretty much a small fry on YouTube and I need all the help I can get because YouTube doesn't like small YouTubers anymore. It likes people who upload five times a week and have big followings. It's very strange how they change their algorithm like that, but that's how it is. So it's kind of hard to get ahead in this world, but oh well. Anyways, I can't wait to have a great anniversary, and let me know if you like these chatty types of videos. I'm sure this is going to be a super long one. So, again, I thank you all for watching this, and I will see you next time. Bye bye